if you understand your own feelings you get a really great handle on how you're going to interact and perform with others so one of the finest starting points is what's going on inside of me chuck ulf emotional intelligence is not about being nice all the time it's about being honest i welcome you to this topic a new module today we going to discuss about a module called emotional intelligence subscribes to both the parts to understand emotional intelligence well i hope you are subscribed to all the videos you're learning a lot from them and you are in the process of being successful in your life and all your endeavors the topic today is emotional intelligence what is emotional intelligence emotional intelligence is not about being nice all the time it's about being honest emotional intelligence is not being touchy feely it's about being aware of your feelings and those of others emotional intelligence is not being emotional it's about being smart with your emotions benefits of emotional intelligence greater career success that's why all these are happening you know we want to be successful in our careers we want to grow in our career make a name for ourselves gather fame and also health and wealth now emotional intelligence gives that it's one of the best benefits emotional intelligence gives human kind the second is strong personal relationship you are the best to be around when your emotional intelligence is high people would like to be associated with you and the relationship that's built is strong and secure the third is increase in optimism and confidence you're always positive when you are emotionally intelligent you're good and you're confident you do not have to wonder whether you did it or not you also know always that you've been successful in doing that that's the benefit of emotional intelligence the fourth is with all these things there's no stress and you have wonderful health better health so let's go by the benefits of emotional intelligence says that you have greater success in career you have a stronger personal relationship with people you are increased with your optimism and confidence and you are the pink of your health professional benefits of emotional intelligence effective leadership skills improved communication less workplace conflict better problem solving skills and the last increased likelihood of promotion now professionally you do good with emotional intelligence effective leadership you are very effective as a leader and you are liked by your peer and your teammates and there's a good amount of lovely communication that happens in over there where you're clear concise with what you're telling and people are wonderful to communicate with you because they know that you they've less been listened well and therefore you have less of conflict in your workplace there's no negatives happening and everybody is working up to their potentials you get better with problem solving skills because you understand when a problem is arising and you clip it off in the bud such that you do not let that become an issue also this helps you grow in your career fast and steady the four essential competencies of emotional intelligence self awareness self management social awareness and relationship management now this four are extensively spoken in the next few slides it's important to be aware about what it is now let's go ahead and understand what they are the four essential competencies of emotional intelligence self awareness self management relate to oneself ourself social awareness and relationship management relate to others our relationship with others so one is relationship with ourselves and the second is is with others self awareness self awareness competencies emotional self awareness reading one's own emotion recognizing the impact gut sense to guide decisions acute self assessment knowing one's strengths and limits self confidence have a good sense of one self worth and capabilities make your self awareness competencies stronger practicing self awareness 
Awareness of your emotional state is the foundation of emotional intelligence skills. Learning to tune into your emotions, they can give you valid information and your response to stressful situations. Recognize the importance of emotions even in technical fields is what and how you can practice self-awareness in your life. Self-management. Self-management competencies. Emotional self-control. Keeping disruptive emotions and impulses under control is important. Transparency. Displaying honesty, integrity and trustworthiness. Adaptability. Demonstrating flexibility in adapting to changing situations or overcoming obstacles. Achievements. Having the drive to improve per performance to meet other standards of excellence. The last initiative. Being ready to act or seize opportunities. Also being optimistic. Seeing the upsides in events confidently. Self-management competencies is, will help you to be well aware and how you can make a difference when you relate to yourself. Practice, practicing self-management. Accept responsibilities for choosing your own emotional responses. Let to reframe stressful situations into ones that are challenging. Be aware, of the, learn, be aware and learn to manage your own emotional triggers. Once you understand and take responsibilities of your own self-management, you will not be able to go into a blame factor and you will be able to keep a check on your emotional triggers. With this, you will be able to reframe stressful situations into one that are challenges and become opportunities. So managing self-management is where the second part of how you can relate to yourself well. High performers are those who are able to see some clarity to what degree they are responsible for setbacks and what degree it might take circumstances or other people and as a result they are able to be more persistent. Dr. J.P. Paulin Fry If people will stop for a moment and put themselves into other person's shoes it will help them modify their own behavior it will help them develop relationships with those people. Daryl Gregg Ed D. With this, we come to the end of part one of emotional intelligence. Subscribe for the next part to understand it better, where we extensively speak about social awareness and we speak about relationship management. Along with it, an emotional intelligence test that will help you understand what kind of a personality you are. I wish you the best and subscribe for the next video too. Also subscribe for all the videos to be learning, prepare and practice to be a thorough professional and be successful in life. Thank you.